Manji. In the video today, I'll be showing you how to make a circle dress. But before I go into the video, I want to say a big congratulations to all of you. Thank you so much. As I speak today, there are more than 1,000 of you. It's a big milestone for all of us. I wouldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much and may God bless you. If you are watching me for the first time, today is your day. Just hit that subscribe button, also the notification bell, so you don't miss out on any of the videos coming up on this channel. Just don't forget to give a thumbs up to the videos, okay? Let's enjoy the video. You are going to need a long ruler, the fabric, some pins, your tape measure, pair of scissors, chalk, and your pattern master. Measurements required are shoulder measurement, bust measurement, arm or round measurement, and your dress length measurement. Start by folding your fabric into two, like I have done here, okay? Right, so that is the top, the top which is a closed end, right? And make sure that that side is the length of your dress plus five inches. Okay, so if your length of my length of dress is 46 inches plus 5 inches, I should get 51 inches this side here. Okay, and I have two layers here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to bring that end fold like that. Okay. this corner here and then I mark both ends okay so eight and a half is, is uh, here so I'm going to mark both ends okay and then I go ahead and draw a straight line joining those two points Which is the, the arm roll round, okay? On this end here, I'm going to square a line which is nine inches. Okay, I'm going to add half an inch for ease. So I go ahead and draw a straight line. Okay, you see that. 
So what you are going to do as usual, get the midpoint of this line here by putting your tape measure there, bring it down, okay, touch the line here and mark midpoint, okay, and then you get your pattern master, go ahead and draw the, the curve for the armhole. going to do is to go ahead and impute the dress length right so get your check measure start measuring from here the dress length should be 46 so my 46 is down here can you see so I'm going to put a line there okay means I've got to add some fabric here to make sure it, is, it fits all the way around. So I carry on measuring. For the bust line, what you are going to do is divide your bust measurement by 4. I get 11, okay? So you measure 11 inches, which is here. And then I'm going to add 1 inch sewing allowance plus um, half an inch ease, okay? So I'm going to mark Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is just to draw a line to go and meet that corner here, okay, which is my total dress length. So I'm going to draw a line like that, a slanted line, okay, because it has to meet that corner. Go ahead and cut it out. Starting from down here. What I'm going to do with this end here is to match, get extra fabric, match it with these two ends and join it so that it, it's going to be the same length with the other side, okay? So that's what I will do, okay? Okay, in order to add the fabric at the bottom so that um, we counter for the 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 side that was not complete all you do is just to align the fabric as I have done here you see it's joined 
but I've aligned it so so that you don't even know uh, it's complete the design is just flowing okay so the next thing you do is just to use that other side okay right and then cut cut out so you've got a smooth round hem of, of your circle dress okay if you are going to insert pockets to your dress just measure eight inches from the ample here okay and mark right and then mark on all the four layers at the back see mark on all the four layers of your dress to cut out the pockets you all you simply do is imagine you are putting your hand in the pocket like i'm doing here okay so you are going to go around it and you see what i'm doing and then you go around okay so that's your pocket done all you do now is just to cut it out pockets done right. so the rest of the fabric that is I have here I'm going to use to cut out some bias strip which I'm going to use to finish off the neckline as well as, as, well as the armholes okay so now we can start sewing so we start by pinning the pockets in place right side facing as I have done here okay making sure you are pinning them starting from that mark 58 inches mark from the angle okay so you pin on this side as well as on the other side okay and do the same for the back piece okay this is the front piece of our dress once you have pinned them in place you are going to sew them in place using half an inch sewing allowance because we have left one inch sewing allowance here. We're going to use half an inch for the pockets. Okay. Next, you are going to join back both back and front pieces together by pinning on the side as I have done. Okay. Pin in place all the way around the pockets up to the armhole. Also pin together on the shoulder seams. Now you are going to use a quarter of an inch for the shoulder seam okay one inch for the side seam and when you are sewing around the pocket use half an inch and then back to one inch all the way to the hem okay do the same on the other side right and then you can knitten your seam using overlocking as you can see i've already overlocked on the pockets here so once you overlock there, it's going to be very neat inside, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. Now the side seams are done, as you can see, okay? As well as the shoulder seams. So what is next is to fin tidy up the neckline as well as the arm. At this stage, it's optional. You can either use cut out some uh, facings or you can use bias binding it's all up to you okay and then um, the hem i'm just going to make a one centimeter fold back in here okay and then i can just finish off the dress basically that will be the end of it i will show you when it's done okay and because it's not my dress it's for a client. I'm going to put it on uh, on the mannequin at the end of it when it's all finished.
okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is just to finish off the cornrows in the neckline and do the hem here is our finished second dress okay so you can see to be nice and flowy when you put it on okay now i'm going to put it on the mannequin so you can see what it's going to look like on the clients it's quite big as you can see and that's the only fabric left out of all the six yards which is just big enough to be a scarf ready. so yeah thank you very much for watching and may god bless you please give this video a thumbs up like and share the video with your friends and uh, this will encourage me very much with this channel